So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to grab your main image that you are going to use on your media kit. And we're going to work on removing the background from this image. So I've added the image, moved it all the way to the front, click on edit image and background remover, and it's going to remove the background for you. Now you want to move this over and remove the girl. And then you're going to put your image in place of her. Okay, so now that you have your image all sized and situated, you're going to add another image and you're going to slide it and put it in this frame up here, resize it to position it where you want it to be. And next we're going to work on changing out the uh, wording, of course. And for this particular brand, I'm going to change it to the brand that I know that Marsha uses. Um, you should have a particular font that you use for your brand. So right now I'm just working on adding her name and changing the font. And then we'll work on updating the colors of the media kit to match her actual branding. Okay, so I didn't remember her exact color code. So I'm pulling in her logo just so that I can grab the color from that logo. <clears throat> so I uh, pulled in the logo like I said I'm grabbing that color and now I have the color code and I'm going to update all of the coloring to match her brand so Canva has a great option that whatever photo that you drag into the uh, platform it's going to pull those colors for you so you see I went down and I grabbed the colors from the uh, logo image Now we're going to move to this black and white image that you see. We're going to switch it out with our own. We're going to add the same picture that we used in the circle, stretch it out, make it really big. You're going to edit this image, go to filters, and you're going to select street to make it black and white. Then you're going to play around with the transparency, take it down low. You kind of play around, get it to where it works best for you. Then we will need to take this and stretch it out so that it goes all the way across the back of the media kit. You're gonna position it all the way to the back. And then you're just gonna play around and stretch it out, play around with the transparency, get it exactly where you want it to be back here. Um, you wanna make it pretty light so that you can still see the wording on top. Next, we are going to work on changing the coloring of this strip. You're going to move this over because this is an image. You want to move it over so that you can um, get access to that blue strip that you see back there. Um, and you may have to move things around a bit just to get access. But you, like I said, I'm just kind of playing around with this frame here. Um, and you're going to move everything around so you can get access to the blue strip. Then you'll go and change it to the color that you want it to be. Of course, I'm changing it to her brand colors. And then... Just playing around here. Let me move this frame back over so the image is over the uh, colored strip there. Next, we're going to change the coloring of this little world map here. And we're gonna change the color of this block. Of course, I'm changing it to her brand colors. Yeah, I think I like that pink color better. And now I'm going to change the color of say hello to that dark gray color. Okay, so now we are going to change this image that you see here to a different image. Um, I have an image of like a desktop I wanna put here. So you add the image, 
And then what you want to do is take this and slide it and you're going to add it to this actual frame. And then what I want to do is go in and I'm going to put a filter on this. So you select it, edit image, click filter, go down to street to make it black and white. And I think it just has a better effect. Okay, so now I'm gonna play around with changing the color of this text here, kind of get it to where I want it to be now that I've changed that uh, background there. And I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the back, he just wants to be heard right now. So I'm sorry about that. So going through changing the coloring of the different text here. Okay, so one awesome thing I want to do is show you how to link your website. So you select your website, then you go click on these three dots and you're gonna click on link. And then you're able to type in the link to your website here. And what will happen is when someone opens this PDF, they'll be able to click on your website and it will take them to the website. We're gonna do the same thing with this Instagram icon. Click on the icon, click on link, and then put in the link to your Instagram account or whatever social media account you're using. We'll go to the Twitter, do the same thing. Click on the link, add in your Twitter handle. And we're just gonna go through to each of these and add the link so that what will happen is when people open the PDF and click on the icon, it's gonna take them directly to your social media and your website. So here you are putting in your um, your direct URL to your different social media platforms. Okay, so now we are gonna save this baby as a PDF standard. And voila, you have your PDF, your media kit ready. So when you send this PDF, people will be able to open it. And you see, I click on the Instagram and it takes me to Instagram. Of course, this would be going to your direct um, social media profile. So you see, I'm clicking through each of these just to show you how uh, the social media kit is linking to your, your stuff. So when I click here, this goes to Google because I put in the Google address, but here is the finished product. Now you can grab this template that I created for the media kit. It is in the link below this video. I hope you grab it.